Jack lives in an ordinary suburban street in Nottingham, in an ordinary suburban house. Morning, Jack. How Hello. are you? Nice right. to meet you. Are you well? Yeah. Can Not I come in? Thanks. Yeah, come in, of course. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to find. <laughs> Even Jack's living room is pretty ordinary, until you look a bit closer. The missing floorboards are the first clue that it's anything but an average house. Downstairs, all is revealed. Oh my word! Inspired by a trip as a five-year-old to Blackpool Sea Life, Jack has transformed his basement into the country's largest home aquarium, with an incredible mix of exotic fish, including catfish, stingrays, and even two turtles. Look at the size of that! I've never seen anything like it in someone's house before. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Hello there. So, Jack, how on earth did you go about building all of this? It took quite a bit of thinking about. Initially, where the glass is, mm -hmm. there was a wall. So I knocked that wall down, and then I had to um, put the steel frame in. So that's a major structural redesign of your house, isn't it? it? Yeah, I had to really think about it. It couldn't, it couldn't fail, you say. It would have been a disaster. How much water's in there? There's about sort of 4,800 gallons, which works out at about 20 tonnes of water. 20 tonnes of water yeah. pressure? I mean, it was scary when I was first filling it up, because it took a sort of ne nearly 24 hours to fill, you know, and just watching it right. gradually creep up the glass, you know, and... And hoping no cracks appear anyway. Yeah, yeah, just imagining the strain on everything, yeah. So do you have to climb in there to clean the glass? Yeah, I do, actually, yeah. I just have to wipe the algae off once a week. And as chance would have it, today was the day for the weekly clean. Lucky old me. Anyone looking to build their own aquarium in their basement should apply for planning permission and own a sturdy wetsuit. Here we go. I hope they don't bloody buy. <laughs> Wish me luck. <sighs> This is extraordinary. I've been transported from the Nottingham suburbs to a subterranean world full of catfish, rays, and paku. Who, it turns out, are members of the piranha family who haven't eaten for a week. 